Hi guys, today let us learn something about quality control in audit. So when you look at quality control in audit, you can, hi friends, very good morning all of you. Today let us learn something about quality control in audit. So as you can look at the screen, there are three things we are going to discuss here. One is quality, one is control and the next one is quality control. So the discussion starts with understanding the meaning of quality. So basically what is quality? Quality is something that meets the expectations or requirements. Okay, so you ordered something to eat. When will you be happy? If it meets your expectations or if it surpasses your expectations, the same thing goes with you buying any product. So you bought a product, when will you be happy? So you will use this word quality when the product you purchased meets your expectations and what is the meaning of control control is a basic uh, function performed by management if you look at it if you remember you might have studied management uh, the functions of management includes planning organizing staffing controlling so there you remember the word control so control is basically the process of monitoring, regulating and influencing the activities. It can be uh, an operating procedure, it can be an activity, it can be a system to conform with a standard. So you have a standard to meet the standard or to meet the expectation. You are trying to monitor the process so that you control the quality. Then what is quality control? Quality control is a systematic process or it refers to a set of activities an organization uses to ensure that whatever the product they manufacture or whatever the service they render meets the requirements or the standards or the law. So when we are speaking about quality control in audit, when you look at the professional standards issued by the International Auditing and Assurance Standards Board or any domestic accounting or auditing regulatory body, say for example in India, Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, there are two standards issued with regard to quality control in audit. The first one is SQC1. In India, we call it SQC1. Globally, internationally, they call it ISQC. SQC stands for Standard on Quality Control. I stands for International. So international standard on quality control one and the other one is international standard on auditing 220. So ISQC one speaks about quality control for firms. So these are the accounting firms. These are the auditing firms. So what these auditing firms are known for? These auditing firms are known for performing audits or they conduct review of financial statements or they conduct certain assurance and related service engagements. So here if you look at it, underline audit. So they are conducting audits. Two, they are conducting reviews. Three, they are performing certain activities which involve audits and which involves assurance. So these are certain related activities, related service engagements. So those firms who are performing audits or performing reviews or performing any other related services, they need to comply with ISQC1. So this is a firm wide quality control standard. Then comes the second standard ISA 220. ISA 220, ISQC1 applies to a firm at firm level. ISA 220 applies to one specific engagement. For example, ISQC1 applies to ABC and company chartered accountants who are auditors. ISA 220 does not apply to ABC and company chartered accountant firms level. It applies to when this ABC and company chartered accountants firm is performing audit of X limited. ISA 220 comes onto the picture. So ISA 220 is engagement level standard. ISQC1 is firm level standard. 
So ISA 220 speaks about quality management for an audit of financial statements. So I hope you understand the difference between ISQC1 and ISA 220. They both of them are speaking about quality control or quality management, but the first one applies at universal level for the firm. Second one applies at a specific audit level or engagement level. 